Hello, this is Titanosaurus Productions, and welcome to another Tokusatsu file, where I look at humans, monsters, aliens, robots, and more from the special effects genre known as Tokusatsu. Today we'll be looking at Gamma's first foe, the chilling monster, Berry God. Stats Length 80 meters, weight 70 metric tons. Enemies Gamma. First appearance. Gamma vs. Barrygon. Appearances Gamma vs. Barrygon. In ancient times, Barrygon's egg was placed in a cave on his native island of New Guinea. Hundreds of years later, an expedition to the island to get the egg, thought to be a giant opal, was undertaken. The egg was then taken back to Japan to be sold. As the ship docked in Osaka, one of the sailors left it under an infrared lamp meant to cure his jungle foot fungus to go play poker. While the sailors were gone, the lamp in incubated the egg and it hatched into a baby Barogon. It then grew to full size, causing the boat to explode. Barogon then headed into downtown Osaka. As it rampaged, the military attempted to destroy it with a missile strike. The Barragon destroyed it with his rainbow ray. The radiation of the ray attracted Gamera. The two titans clashed. And just when Gamera got the upper hand, Barragon froze him solid. With the military and Gamera out of the way, Barragon left Osaka and headed for Tokyo. The military tried to lure Barragon into a deep lake, knowing he would drown in fresh water. With a large diamond on two occasions, a second attempt applying inferred light, but sadly, both failed. Just as all hope seemed lost, Gamera emerged from his icy prison and began to fight Barragon. Gamera successfully defeated Barragon by dragging him deep into the lake. As Barragon was pulled down into the water, he began to violently bleed and soon drowned in the icy depths. Gamera Super Monster Barragon would later make an appearance in Gamera the Super Monster. In this movie, it would just be stock footage of him fighting Gamera, as he was sent down by alien Xanon along with all of other, all of the other Gamera monsters. They were killed exactly the same way that they were originally killed, because all of the footage used to represent them was just stock footage from the previous movies. Features. Barugan is an ancient reptile, which means he will look like one too. He has two horns on the top of his head, just above each of his eyes, and a very large horn protruding out of the front of his snout. In this picture, he appears to be more of a greenish color, but he is usually a dark brown. Abilities. Extendable Tongue Barugan possesses an incredibly long extendable tongue, which he can fire from his mouth like a huge battering ram to knock opponents over or strike targets from a distance. Chilling Liquid Barugan can release chilling liquid from the tip of his extendable tongue. This liquid takes the form of an icy mist and can freeze objects or opponents completely solid. Gamera was particularly susceptible to this liquid as it left him frozen and immobilized for a period of 8 hours. Rainbow Death Ray Barugan's most noticeable ability is a rainbow that he launches from the spikes on his back. Known as the Rainbow Death Ray, this rainbow is actually an incredibly powerful attack that can destroy entire lines of missiles being fired at Barugan or damage buildings or enemies. Intelligence Barugan is actually a deceptively intelligent creature and uses his cunning to withstand two of the JSDF's attempts to kill him. When the JSDF uses a gigantic mirror to reflect Barugan's rainbow death ray back at him, Barugan realized his mistake and consciously chose to stop using the attack. Another plan involved luring Barragon into a lake with a diamond. However, Barragon used his extendable tongue to recover the diamond and avoid wadding out into the lake. 
weaknesses. Baragon's rainbow death ray can be reflected by mirrors, and if reflected back to Baragon, will severely injure him. Baragon's most critical weakness is to fresh water. If Baragon comes into contact with fresh water, it will burn his flesh and cause him to bleed profusely. The JSDF used artificial rainfall to keep Baragon restrained and at bay. Baragon is ultimately killed when Gamera drags him to the bottom of a lake and drowns him. Interesting facts. Barugan has appeared in three video games, Gamera the Time Adventure from 1995, CR Gamera in 2009, and Gamera Battle in 2012. He also appeared in Kadokawa's Gamera vs. Barugan manga. Barugan was also considered to be the villain in Gamera Guardian of the Universe, but Gauss was ultimately chosen for the role instead. That's all for now. Goodbye.